Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my only favorite tea treatment, the Blue Rose Beauty Chai Hair Tea. This works even better than just like steeping black tea or green tea and using that. Plus it actually has slip and moisture and stuff which the tea rinses directly don't usually provide. So I wanted to come and share the goodie with you. So definitely if you want to control your shedding, want to reduce your shedding, give this a try. Since I always like to cleanse before treatments, I actually also use another Blue Rose Beauty product, which is the Soap Berry Co-Wash. So I don't remember if I had bought this before, but I'm definitely loving it now. Everything was there, my hair just felt clean and moisturized and fresh and just ready to conquer the world. <laughs> it just looked great, so I'm really loving this co-wash and I can't wait to buy more of it. It feels very clean, but it's very gentle and very moisturizing. You don't, your hair doesn't feel stripped at all. It doesn't feel like a shampoo at all. It just feels like a really awesome co-wash. So I definitely recommend this as well. Even though we are here to talk about the tea, gotta talk about this, because both of them work really well together as well. I had a super happy wash day using the two of them. I really like the ingredients of this co-wash. I'm trying to show it to you. So it's just all good stuff, no bad stuff. Lots of moisture and gentle cleansers. Soap nut, gentle cleanser, slippery air, marshmallow root, moisture and slip. Amla, of course, you know Amla is just a great Ayurvedic herb. Kale and clay, my hair loves clay as well. So again, gentle cleanser. It's just good stuff, lemongrass, essential oil, yucca root powder, which is a gentle cleanser. So I really love the ingredients of this co-wash. There's so many gentle cleansers in here, as well as moisturizers. So, if you're looking for a real natural co-wash, not even any coco betaine or anything, give this a try. doesn't have any of the traditional surfactants, but it has a lot of the natural cleansers for your hair. So, definitely if you're looking for a really natural, really effective, really gentle co-wash, give this a try. Mm, what does it smell like? Heaven? <laughs> no, it smells slightly sweet. Maybe a little like ice cream or something, but not a lot, like a mixture of ice cream and soap, like sweet soap, I don't know. But it smells really good. It is a nice rich creamy texture as well. This is the texture of it. So it's not too runny, it's just a nice light lotion. And like I said, it's really moisturizing as well as cleansing. So definitely can't go wrong with this product. Two thumbs up from me. I'm the star of the show, the chai hair tea. So let me get into the ingredients. So you can see that the first ingredient is organic black tea. So it's definitely a tea rinse. And then you get into licorice root, burdock root, fenugreek, aloe vera juice, BTMS, olive oil, castor oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, and molasses. So I know molasses is also good for shedding. Licorice root, I think, is also good for shedding and fenugreek. Again, everything in here is yummy. So everything in both of these, like every ingredient is great and really good for your hair. So you just really cannot lose. So I definitely recommend this as well. Tea plus deep conditioner. Usually when you just steep a cup of tea, it tends to be a little dry and not that much slip and all that. You can get the benefits of the tea in a creamy, moisturizing, deep conditioner with slip smells great, goes on well, and works even better than the tea. So, definitely a win, and if you're looking to control your shedding, this is my best kept secret, this is my only favorite tea treatment. Two thumbs up again. <laughs> Plus a little goes a long way, because I probably use a lot as usual, and I still only use half, so at least paired with the co-wash, a little goes a long way, so that's another good thing about this product. I have been known, I typically finish a jar of this in my hair as a deep conditioner, especially when I shampoo, well, I didn't shampoo this time, but it's good to know I can get two uses out of this, if I'm careful, so yeah, for that. Mm. I love the smell of this even more. It's just a slightly sweeter scent. It smells almost kind of herbal, but very sweet too. Like I would almost say honey, but I guess molasses since that's what's in here. Tea-ish, sweetish, honey-ish, herbal-ish, molasses-ish scent. It just smells great. Let me show you the consistency. So as you can see, it's a really light lotion. Um, and I like lighter deep conditioners anyway. And it just goes on really smooth. You know, and penetrates really well and really fast. So, yeah. I love the scent, so 
<laughs> yeah, so definitely give these a try or let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you're looking for something to control your shedding. And let me know if you just want to have a great wash day. If you do, I got you. Try these out. <laughs> So that's it. I've done a review on Blue Rose before and I've actually used this chai hair tea before in videos but I haven't really mentioned it by name. So I wanted to do a video where I gave it its proper props, put some respect on it, name it by name and just give you that video that you can look out for and people can look out for and find if they're trying to control their shedding or they're just looking for a really nice cleansing and moisturizing wash day. So let me know if you do anything to control your shedding. Do you have a lot of shedding naturally or not so much? Do you do tea rinses, coffee rinses? Is there a product that you like? Have you tried this chai hair tea before? Have you tried Blue Rose Beauty before? Just let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.